Hi there, I'm Stephanie. This is Couture Costumes and Cats. And today we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Hocus Pocus. Yay! <laughs> As you can see, I uh, really love this movie. Um, it has been a, uh, a favorite of mine since I first saw it. So wow, where to start? Uh, so on this day 30 years ago, this little movie starring uh, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and uh, Kathy Najimy as uh, the Sanderson sisters came out in theaters. Um, Hocus Pocus is actually the first movie I ever saw in theaters. So it has a special place in my heart. Um, I remember... At the time, uh, I was invited to go see it with some family members, and I didn't even understand English. <laughs> so I remember asking my cousin, um, should I go? What should I do? Uh, what, if I, if, what if I don't understand the movie? And she basically said to me, I will never forget this. She said, just laugh when other people are laughing. <laughs> So yeah, so I went to see it with some family members and just fell in love with it. Um, that movie is just so much fun and it's just so beautifully made. So let's let's dive in. Uh, what is Hocus Pocus? So Hocus Pocus starts in uh, 1693 when we're introduced to three sisters who are witches. So they're kind of the pariah of the village because they abduct children and effectively kind of eat them. <laughs> so obviously no one is really happy about that and everybody fears the witches. But you meet them and I kind of have to say you root for them. <laughs> Even though they're supposed to be mean and evil, they're just so fun. Um, yeah, so the uh, leader is uh, Bette Midler. Uh, who plays Winifred Sanderson, who is so much fun, uh, just loud and commanding and just hilarious. Then we have Sarah Sanderson, played by Sarah Je Jessica Parker, uh, the character that I am emulating today. And you have Mary, played by Kathy Jimmy, who is <laughs> a little rough around the edges and uh, has a very powerful nose. So <laughs> one of her key phrases throughout the film is, I smell children. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, basically this movie starts in 1693. Uh, the witches get caught in the act of abducting a young child and they are hung. And then we fast forward 300 years and we meet uh, a whole bunch of new characters. Uh, there's Max and his sister, Danny. And uh, there's Allison, who is uh, Max's crush at school. Um, yeah, so we basically follow them on Halloween night. Uh, their house uh, has now become a museum. And the entire town knows the story of the Sanderson sisters. It's part of their history. Um, but, you know, maybe some people don't take it really seriously. So that's where Max comes in. He is new to the town. He doesn't believe in witches and Halloween. He misses California. He's not into Salem, Massachusetts whatsoever. Um, and yeah, so basically on Halloween night, goes to the uh, museum with his sister and Allison, and they bring the witches back to life. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you should definitely seen it, see it if you haven't seen it already. Um, there's also a sequel that came out last year, which I absolutely loved. It was so meta and adorable. And I love how they just <laughs> brought the, um, the story into modern times. So absolutely give those two movies a watch if you haven't seen them already. So the costume that I'm wearing today is the costume that Sarah Jessica Parker wears. Um, and uh, I chose to do this one because um, I really like the character. I think she's a lot of fun. But the costume also spoke to me. I saw it in the movie and 
uh, basically felt that I would be able to uh, reproduce this costume. So wait, we have a question from Mark. Mark, uh, should they make more sequels? Yes, absolutely. I think that I would love to see more sequels from the Hocus Pocus franchise, if you will. Um, the sisters are so iconic uh, to the, the name Hocus Pocus, but I feel like Hocus Pocus is just such a great magic movie, right? There could be other witches around. The The town has so much history with witches that I think that this could go in many, many ways. Without giving too much away, in the second film, we see that there are other people that might have witch abilities and there are, you know, two different types of magic, much like uh, the force in Star Wars. There's good magic and bad magic. So I feel like this could take on another form um, and we could have other characters. But obviously, if we don't bring back the sisters, we won't see those iconic um, costumes anymore. But you know, there's always room for more costumes. So I hope this answers your question. Um, so yeah, so what I was saying about this costume. So I, I love the three sisters. I love all their costumes. I could have made any of them, but this one, as I said, spoke to me because I could see how I could make this costume in real life. The one that Winifred wears is absolutely beautiful, but it has um, a little bit more uh, like intricate pieces. So uh, I wasn't quite sure at the time. So I made this costume last year when the sequel was about to come out. So I, uh, I thought at the time that this costume would be easier to make. Uh, in retrospect, I think that um, a lot of my problems with the Winifred costume could be solved with just good old fashioned fabric paint. But, you know, maybe <laughs> a challenge for next year. Or if they make another sequel, I will try to make a Winifred costume. So yeah, so this costume has a few different pieces. I wanted it to look like uh, the, the outfit that uh, Sarah Sanderson wears in the movie. Um, I feel like the this costume might look a little bit more like what she wears in the sequel, just because it's so pristine. I haven't uh, had the heart to... Uh, work on distressing this outfit quite as much as the costumes appear in the first film. The the witches' outfits are definitely lived in and look worn a little bit. And uh, as opposed to in the sequel, their co their costumes look brand new. So that's um. I mean, I I don't think that I prefer it any other way, or any way more than the other. But um, I basically did not want to make this costume dirty or distressed because I worked for so long on it. I wanted it to to stay pretty for <laughs> a little bit. Um, so yeah, on top of the makeup and the wig, obviously, there's a bustier with uh, some grommets and some straps. There's some lace sleeves that were a little bit of a challenge because they are attached to the bodice, but the bodice is not like a, a shirt where there would be an armhole for sleeves, right? So I kind of had to create a shirt with no front or back, but with sides so that I could attach the sleeve to this bodice. Um, so that was, that was fun. <laughs> This bodice uh, has a, a lace-up closure in the back, and I added a little bit of lacing in the front here just as a fun detail. It doesn't uh, do anything functionally apart from just being a cute little detail. And the straps are actually tied on with grommets and uh, laces. So uh, that's uh, this piece. And then the skirt is a whole other ballgame. It's actually uh, very heavy. 
So if I was to wear this uh, at a con, I would probably have to rethink it a little bit um, just because of the way that it's constructed with um, the side bustles and the front panel and the back panel. It's just a little bit heavy. So I'll just give you a quick, a quick look. Yeah, so as you can see, it's quite a big skirt um, and it takes a little bit of, of room and it has quite a bit of weight to it. So I'm going to have to work harder on a waistband, I think. I also made little uh, purple bloomer shorts. Uh, <laughs> they're very um, prominent in the first film when uh, we first see the sisters go outside to the streets and they think that it's actually a black river of doom. <laughs> and uh, they're kind of like scared to, to, uh, to go in and they're not quite sure what to do. And the two other sisters push Sarah Jessica Parker in what they think is a river and she jumps in, screams, and then as she's standing, she says, tis firm. And then she just jumps up and down with her skirt in her arms. And that's when you see that she's wearing little bloomers and fishnet tights. And they have um, witches type boots. And so, yeah, so all the details of those costumes are just fabulous. So I wanted to honor them on this 30th anniversary uh, by doing a little look at the costume I made and also throw a lot of love at that film. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this and feel free to send me any questions. I could talk about the patterns that I use for the different pieces, um, the fabrics if you wanna know. And uh, yeah, so I hope you watch the films. That's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go watch Hocus Pocus and just laugh and, <laughs> and just love every moment of it. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another costume discussion. Take care. Bye.